Hi guys, I'm Sark and today we're looking at appeasement World War 2 and did Neville Chamberlain do the right thing? So first of all, just a bit of context, your information before we start is um, Hitler has been taking over everything, he's been taking over the Rhineland, he's gone to the Sudetenland and he's he Britain and France are just standing back and letting him do what they want and Hitler is gradually getting more confidence and this ends up him invading Poland so the Allies decide to um, declare war on him after that but before this they're just letting him do what he wants because this is appeasement and it's all about if they didn't let him do what he wanted and said to him you can't do this would a war have still happened so first of all we'll go for the pros of appeasement um, so the first the first good thing about Hitler was he was standing up to communism um, and the spread of communism was in fact a greater concern to Britain at the time than Hitler was. So uh, British people thought, at least he's standing up to communism. Why, why, we'll just let him do this and we won't stop him from doing anything, but he's actually helping us. Um, the attitude to, of the British Empire so was also another factor, because it wasn't actually certain if the Commonwealth states would support a war and then maybe they wouldn't take part in it, and then um, the Allies would be um, severely outnumbered by the Germans. Another, and another war couldn't be repeated. That's another pro of appeasement. So both Britain and France remember the horrors of the First World War. And of course, that was the main objective, not to have another war. So they thought just standing back, let Hitler do what he wants, would have worked. Um, next there, Britain were not ready for another war. And the British government believed that armed forces, they weren't ready for another war. They'd just come out for this war. They're trying to rebuild the country. Well, although they didn't get bombed, that's that's actually France. But they were trying to rebuild the economy, especially after the um, the, the Great Depression. And that's another one, which is economic problems. Um, and because Britain was suffering from the effects of the Depression. So that means they don't have money to buy all these um, guns and everything, which Germany were currently building stronger. Um, and Hitler is right. The, um, the Treaty of Versailles was unfair, and many British and... Uh, even some French who were very against Hitler um, agreed with this. And watching my other video about the Treaty of Versailles, you can understand more about it and understand that it was a very harsh punishment that was given to Hitler. And finally, the USA will not support the UK if there was another war. And the Allies were worried that they couldn't win a war without the US. And that is, again, First World War. The way that the Allies managed to win was with um, the United States coming in to intervene and helping them win. Britain and France were worried that, say, without America, they wouldn't be able to win this war. However, there were some disadvantages of appeasement, um, and it encouraged Hitler to be aggressive, because each gamble he took, he got away with. So every um, single little thing he did, Britain just stood back, and then he was encouraged by this. Um, also, it allowed Germany to grow too strong. So they weren't only recovering their lost ground, which they were taken away from in the Treaty of Versailles. They were actually growing stronger than both Britain and France, which is worrying. It also scared the USSR, which is Russia. And that's because Hitler didn't try and hide the fact that he wanted to expand eastwards. He wanted to try and take over Russia. That was his next target. And it also put too much uh, trust in Hitler's promises. And in hindsight, you can see that Hitler was trusted too much. Now, I don't know if you can necessarily blame that on Neville Chamberlain altogether, because, I mean, it's hard to notice, but it definitely had a part to play. And I'm sure many of you know when he came off the plane saying that he, um, he, he thought he had peace with Hitler. Well, now you can see that wasn't true. That was him thinking he had peace, but really that was just Hitler trying to mask it, and he ended up attacking more places. So I think that personally, I think they should have probably stood up and appeasement was the wrong thing to do. They should have stood up straight away um, for the Treaty of Versailles. But another um, a view which many historians have taken is that maybe appeasement was a good thing because it gave time for Britain and Germany to build, sorry, Britain and France, not Germany, to build the, um, their air force and get ready for another war, which as you can see in something like 1936, for example, Britain and France had like no aeroplanes. In 1939, they were they had a lot of aeroplanes, so they had used that time to rebuild their um, army while they were waiting. Well, so that's why they didn't necessarily go in and just be brutal and tell Hitler to go away. 
So it's all up to debate. It's a very big debate that people can have if um, appeasement was the correct thing to do. I personally think Neville Chamberlain got um, he got bad press because of it, but it was he wasn't all his fault necessarily. It could have been. But thanks for watching, and please visit, uh, um, visit my website. The link is below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and see you. Bye. Thank you.